with or connected with since our since the summit. Oh. Um, I've been pretty intentional about it because it's been very important to me. Uh, although largely it's been my family so far. Although this coming week I intend to give a report on the board change to our community council to at least get them aware of. You're going to hear, be hearing more about core change. So talk about core change. We should all be talking about core change and what it is and what our involvement in it is. But it's largely this um, shift in looking at assets and gifts um, for me that has been the nature of my conversation. So, for example, if I'm doing a cleanup in our neighborhood, I, I know. A couple of years ago, I first assembled a listing of all the men in the neighborhood, and I sent an email out to the men. I need men because I want to do some brush cleanup. Then I said, "Well, I shouldn't be so exclusive here." You know? So then I started putting some women on there because because I don't know that women don't have an interest or the skills. I shouldn't be so presumptuous. But when I heard Dr. Knight talking about this, he said that. We see people and we know what their gifts are. And we know what their we don't know what their we see certain gifts, but there are many gifts that we don't see. More importantly, we what we do see is what seems to be a hole. What's missing. You know, somebody uh, whatever doesn't have a job or uh, yeah, whatever it is, you know, they never show up for a meeting, or so you stop inviting them. So the way we behave when, when that happens is we tend not to invite them. You know? Speaking of myself, you know, I'm inviting people that I think are going to respond, and I don't put it out there to other people. We host picnics every summer in our neighborhood, and I. When I reach out to, for people to come and volunteer, I got my volunteer list. Why? Because they they're the ones that volunteered before. There are many more folks out there who would respond, but I don't reach out to them. So, this is what was coming out of my conversation with my daughter and my wife about this gift, looking at someone's giftedness. And I feel like I've got to learn how to uh, talk with somebody in a way that I learn about what their giftedness is. It's going to change the questions that I ask. It's not, hello, how are you, where do you work, you know, where were you born, or what neighborhood do you live in. It's got to be more about who you are, what do you like to do, man. Um, See, I'm only scratching the shirt because I don't really know the process for doing that, but that's what Dr. McKnight's work is, to teach us how to do that. So by the time the next time we gather, I'll have more to about I want to learn more about that, how to actually behave in a way that helps me draw out people's giftedness, starting at the one-on-one, -on -one, but then how do I do that at the neighborhood level? How do I draw that out?